So I'm going to go through and make a game from scratch for the web platform so you can see how to make a game in game develop. So first of all we're going to select web platform, empty project, create new project. Here we have our game, completely blank. Okay, we're going to make a game where little rocks fall from the top of the screen and we're going to be in a little ship and we can shoot them and if they hit us, we lose the level. So first of all, right click here, we're going to add an object, double click sprite, everything in the game is a sprite pretty much. We're going to call this player ship. Okay, double click on that. That will bring up the image editor. This is where all the images in the game will be displayed, just here. And here is the image for this particular sprite. First of all, we're going to click on Add an Image. We're going to go to a folder and pick an image. So, Millionth Effect has made a good ship. We're going to use this ship. You can see it's added to the list of all images in the game. And then we're just going to click on that and drag it into here. And that will be the image for this sprite. You can now close that and you can see our image is added to the sprite and you can now just drag that oh, sorry, you can drag that into the scene there we are we have a ship on the level next up we would like our ship to be able to move so we're going to click on events and we're going to unhide that we're going to click add an event ok, add a condition, the first condition is a timer check the value of a timer. We want 0.05 seconds. The timer's name move timer. OK. Next, add an action. Timer. Reset a timer. Move timer. Make sure you type this all in the same case and all spell it all the same as this one. OK. So all this is doing at the moment is when this timer hits this amount of time sets. Next, we're going to click add a sub-event. OK, add a condition. Keyboard, key is pressed, we're looking for the key A. OK, and the action when the key A is pressed is going to be all objects. Um, position, I'm going to change the X position of this ship. So the object is player ship. Make sure you spell that right, otherwise it won't work. And we're going to do plus um, 8. OK. Oh, this is the wrong direction, sorry. Double click on that. We're going to do minus 8. A is to go left. Minus is to go left. So minus 8 to the X position will mean it moves this way a bit. So every time you press A, it will move a bit this way. Click here again, we're going to add another sub-event. Add a condition. Keyboard. Key is pressed. This time we're going to do D for moving right. And the same thing again, add an action. All objects. Position. We're going to change the X position of player ship. And we're going to do plus 8 this time. OK. So what's this event doing? Every time this timer hits this amount of time, it resets and then it will check all its sub-events. So it will check if the key D is pressed. If the key D is pressed, it will do this action. And then it will check if the key A is pressed. And if it is, it will do this action. OK, let's click on Scene and put that somewhere near the bottom. The ship's going to move across here. And then we're going to click Preview and see our game so far. I'll just give that a minute to open. Ah, here we go. This lets you preview your game offline, and there you can see our ship moving. Now next we want to set limits on movement, because you can move this ship off the screen. So we want to limit where this ship can go. OK. So let's set a limit of plus 750. So on this condition here, I add another condition, all objects, position, test the X position of player ship, and it has to be less than 750. Otherwise it won't let us move. So once you hit a certain amount of space this way, you 
can't move anymore. We'll do the same here, add a condition, all objects position, and the same thing, play a ship. And this time it has to be greater than zero. So if the position's less than zero or zero, we can't move anymore this way. Okay, let's preview that and check it worked. Okay, we can't move anywhere past zero, which is here. And if we try and move this way, our 750 is a little far, so we'll tone it down to 700. Okay, so events, click on that, change it to 700. There we go.